All right, we're back with episode, I don't know, eight, 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 episode eight, okay? Did you miss us? Because we missed hey, We're you. coming up on that uh, two-digit mm-hmm. number episode. Mm-hmm. Look at those double digits. <laughs> so, we did not play a game this past weekend. We had a bye weekend. It feels weird. It felt weird. Like I know, having a free Saturday. Yeah, because even before the season when we didn't have games on weekends, we always had practice. This is literally our second ever free Saturday because we have one bye week after Tennessee. Oh, yeah. But this is our second in like the past five months. Right. So, so that was, it was like kind of nice, you know, get a little break. I think yeah. everybody needs that. Yeah, it's like good after it. the regular season yeah. between playoffs. And we still have another bye week, one more. Right. And then we're going to But then to we playoffs. will have practices and stuff. Oh, yeah, we practice so. <laughs> But anyway, so we didn't, nobody played a game. Um, but what did happen last week was the rankings for playoff came out, which we uh, had a little clip of in our last episode. But we just want to talk a little bit more about it. So the Western is four teams. San Diego's number one in that conference. Mm-hmm. And they are playing Denver, who's number four. I think that's going to be a really interesting game. Yeah. I feel <laughs> like that's, like, at least in the Western Conference, like, that's yeah. the more exciting game. Because San Diego is undefeated so far. And Denver is, what are they? Three and three? Three and three. Three yeah. and three. So it's like, it's supposed to be an easy game for San Diego, but San Diego hasn't played a central team yet. Mm-hmm. So I don't think it's going to be as easy as what some people think. No. Because central division is just like, even the worst teams are still Right. Because if you look at it like, just real quick, like, we have five teams in the central. Mm-hmm. Four of those are in playoffs. Right. From the other two conferences, there's just two teams yeah. in the playoffs. So the central is competitive. Mm. So if you haven't played a central team at all during the season, I feel like you can't really say where you're at. Yeah. So that game will definitely be interesting. I'm super like excited yeah. about I that. I feel like it's honestly going to be kind of a tight game. Yeah, I think I so. think I think San Diego might come with the win, but yeah. But I think it's going to be tight. I think if Denver can uh just stop their offense cuz they do have like yeah. pretty good yeah. O-line and stuff. Yeah, San Diego has a strong run game because they have a really good O-line. Yeah. And Denver just needs to, literally just needs to stop the run game for real. And then they'll be in the game. And then they need to step up their offense a little bit. Right, Since our game, because their offense was not, not to say, I mean, our defense was good in that game. But like, yeah, we do have a good defense, but like, they also have a good defense. So their offense needs to step up a little bit. And then the other game in the Western is Texas, who's ranked number two playing Seattle, who's mm-hmm. ranked number seven. Yeah, I think that's going to be a pretty easy game for yeah, Texas. That, yeah, Dallas is going to beat them. Like, oh. not to disrespect <laughs> Seattle at all. Like, I feel like Seattle has had a really good season, especially, like, compared to last year's. Like, they really stepped up, and they've really had a good season. And they put up, how much, like, 43 points on somebody, yeah. like, last week or whatever. Like, yeah. they've really, like, I feel like they're really showing out, but they're not at like, Texas Elite level yet. <laughs> right. I feel like this year Seattle is the like rocket of this year. They yeah. went from being one of the worst teams yeah. to being yeah. in the playoffs and not even being like like the last team to make playoffs. Yeah. They were in seven. Yeah. So I mean shout out to Seattle for real. Yeah. But yeah, definitely it's still gonna be kind of an yeah. easy game for Texas. But I would love for it to be a little rocky oh, right. start for Texas. Like just for the like the to keep excitement. it interesting. Yeah. yeah. So that is the Western playoff conference. Mm-hmm. So that'll be in Vegas. So we're going to Mississippi as we spoke earlier and we're going to be playing Mississippi because we're ranked number four in the Eastern and they're ranked number one and I'm actually excited to play them first round Mm -hmm. like I feel like you always hope to play like the worst teams on the first round but I feel like we just need to get this dub and then we can move on not to say like playing Atlanta or Washington would be easy on Saturday, like, if we beat Mississippi, like, no, that's going to be a tough game as well. But I feel like, obviously, Mississippi is the best team in the Eastern playoffs. So I would rather play them first. And also, like, as we're, like, fresh off, like, bye weeks and stuff. I'm really excited for this game because the last game was so tight. We lost by five points. Like, we literally just needed one more touchdown and we wouldn't won the game. Yeah. So I feel like, I feel like our whole team is just so excited to actually play Mississippi I think Mississippi is excited to play us as well. That's what we yeah. that was what they said. In the I playoff think so. Thing. I I don't think anybody was like, Ugh, 
Like, we were nah. like, okay, let's nah. fucking go. Because like, last time, it. it was a good game, so yeah. I feel like everybody's kind of like, okay, like, this will be another good game. It will. So, Seattle's, or not Seattle, Mississippi's a good team. <laughs> they are. And we're a good team, so it's definitely No, gonna it's going to be a dog fight. Yeah. I feel like, literally, it's going to be, like, last time, and Down whoever finishes yeah. wins the game. Like, whoever mm-hmm. can hold up to the last second. Yeah. Is who's gonna win like it could go either way because even when we played them like even in i think when we started like fourth quarter we were down by two touchdowns yeah and it looked like okay you yeah. know mississippi gonna run this up yeah and then all of a sudden we come back we and out. it was like five point difference so i think that's how it's gonna be this time too it's gonna be down to the last minutes yeah and then so the other game is atlanta is playing washington um i'm excited i'm excited to see that game because wasn't that the game that got canceled it was so they yeah. haven't actually played a whole game yeah and we were excited to see them play and then it got canceled yeah. so now i'm excited to see them play in the playoffs and honestly like i don't really have a preference who i would want to win in that game no. because if we beat mississippi like i don't really care if we're playing atlanta or washington i feel like they're yeah. pretty even teams i haven't seen too much about either one of them i yeah. think the only thing that's kind of been noticeable during the season is that atlanta's had a really good defense yeah but you also got to think like who did they play right you know? right um so I don't, yeah, I don't think it matters yeah. either. I would honestly say if I had to compare the two like playoff conferences, mm-hmm. I would say the Eastern is more competitive, competitive, yeah, than the Western because if you look at the overall, Denver and Seattle was ranked seven and eight, mm-hmm. so they're like the worst ranked right. like, playoff team overall, right? And they're both in the Western, yeah. So I think our conference is definitely going to be like close games yeah and i also because like if you look at the games that we played in the regular season like i feel like the eastern teams like we've had a lot tighter games yeah than you know texas seattle like they haven't played each other yet but like it's not as and competitive i don't think it, it doesn't matter who gets to play dallas in the second round it's not gonna right. be a close game yeah even if it is san diego i don't think it's, it's gonna not, be a close game no i don't think so, so i think the eastern conference is more gonna be tight tighter games yes. so that'll but definitely be more exciting just yeah yeah because in eastern i feel like anybody could win literally literally anybody yeah. could win the eastern conference mm-hmm. it's literally just a matter of like who finishes and right. who gets the most injuries type shit because also we're playing on thursday and if you yeah. win you play again on saturday which is that's really that's rough right. just having one day off and you're already going to be banged up if you get injuries on thursday you're not going to heal by saturday yeah. if it's actual injury so it's also going to like that's gonna matter a lot yeah. and that's gonna play a huge part in it also we just wanted to mention as the european championship tournament is still going on even though spain already won the <laughs> championship but we're still fighting who gets a uh, second and third and fourth and whatever so finland <coughs> um <Damn>. sorry <laughs> as soon as i said finland i know we're rivalries but like damn so finland just played germany this past weekend and they beat Germany 20 to 7, which is, I was actually surprised. Like, obviously, that's my team. Like, that's my country. Like, I believe in them. But, like, we were missing, like, some starters. Mm-hmm. And we had a lot of, like, rookies in the team and stuff. And Germany was, like, supposed to be one of the top teams. Well, not supposed to be, but then they ended up kind of being climbing up and yeah. being one of the top teams. So, I didn't, ex- like, I expected it to be a tight game. But, like, Finland, good. well, honestly, I could see it going both ways. That's why I'm a little yeah. surprised, but I think a huge part was played in Leah Casas finally getting her Finnish passport right. and being able to play quarterback for Team Finland because, yeah, she's just... I feel like, athlete. and also, I feel like Finland, because y'all have been there. Like, mm-hmm. you won the European Championship 2019, you know, in the world. Yeah. But I feel like you have had a little struggle on the quarterback position. Yeah. Like, yeah. you haven't had maybe... On s- offense, general. Exactly. Yeah. So, probably getting somebody who is a good mm-hmm. quarterback, like, that yeah. is going to make And not only a good quarterback, but also she has at least two of her own receivers yeah. in the team. So, it's like, there's a different they connection. connection. They're already in season playing for their club team, and now they're playing in the national team as well. So, I think that made a huge difference because... Like you said, like, we've really struggled with our offense. Even when we played each other, Mm -hmm. like, Sweden's not one of the top teams, but we scored one one touchdown because we just couldn't get it right. Like, our defense was good, but our offense was not getting shit done. So that was interesting. So now Finland is still in the fight for the second spot. So we play uh, uh, GB in August, and that'll pretty much... I think if we win that game, we'll be second. If we lose, we will be third. Is that game in... um... It's in the UK. Oh, okay. I was saying yeah. that'd be fun to watch. Mm. Pull up. 
<laughs> pull up on I don't it. even know if I'm playing, but pull up. <laughs> Shit, I might go watch my dog play. Little New London trips. Mm. Last one I saw. <laughs> All right, so last time we started talking about going playing internationally, and we talked about our first times doing mm -hmm. it. Pause. Pause. What's our second? <laughs> Um, anyway, so that was our first time going internationally and playing. And our second time we went abroad, we went together to the same place. Yes. And we went to Spain. Yeah. And this was 2021 yeah. fall. So the way we actually ended up in Spain is a funny story because... So, 2021 season, we were actually both sitting out again for injuries. We always match, okay? <laughs> we, always, we always, the timing is always right, okay? Like, but, um, so I was coaching in the men's league in Finland, and you were coaching in the women's league in Sweden. Yeah. During the season, Ida came to visit me where I was coaching in Vasa, mm -hmm. and so we was just, we literally just hadn't seen each other for a long time. Like, she came to visit me, came to see me coach, whatever, she was staying with me. And we just, like, it's summertime in Finland, right? And we just started talking about, like, Oh, uh, like the fall is coming up. We both hate cold. We both hate the dark. We were like, bro, like we need to like move to Spain or something. Just for y'all who haven't been in Sweden or Finland in the winter, Don't it know. is dark all day, all yeah. night. It is cold as shit. Snow, just yucky. Depressing. Depressing. It's, so the daylight thing is like Alaska to where in the summer the yeah. sun barely sets and in the winter the sun barely comes out. So in the winter time, you literally get like three hours of daylight and you're at work or mm -hmm. at school during yeah. that time. So you wake mm -hmm. up, go to work. It's fucking pitch black, black dark, dark <laughs> outside. You get off work. It's dark again. Like it's literally just like midnight all day long and cold and snowing. And it's just, uh, it's terrible. So anyway, so we were like, I'm not doing that. No. Like, I don't want to do that anymore. Like, let's move to Spain or something. <laughs> And then As, you know you joke. Yeah, like, you know how you always plan Spain. moving to Bali and shit, like taking the trips and like it never happens, right? So we kind of started joking about it like that, and then we were like, hmm, maybe we could. We were like, well, send te like we could work in Spain, like with our v like we don't need a visa type shit. Like we could work there. So maybe if we hit up some people that we maybe know from Spain, if they could help us like mm -hmm. just find like an apartment and job so we're not even thinking football for real but we were just like all of our connections in spain would be football people and then we were like we we're also not really thinking football because we were both still injured coming yeah. back from injury so we literally just wanted to move to spain just to escape right. the winter but literally just work a normal job in spain and just have an apartment but we were just like maybe let's see if we have any spanish football connections just if they like could help us find a job so so i started talking to this one girl we wasn't even like friends friends but like i had spoke to her a couple times like we just kind of follow each other on instagram on some football shit and i just like hit her up like hey like oh do you maybe like could you help us out type mm. shit and then she was like oh let me like talk to my team and like maybe we can like figure something out to help you guys and maybe if y'all want to y'all can be somewhat part of the team or whatever like come help us sometimes whatever we weren't too scared. Like, we were like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we were like, whatever. yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll come by and say hi and do <laughs> coach practice type shit. And then we started talking. So she had put us in contact with, like, um, what, what is she, like, the team president? Yeah. Oh, no, she's not the president. But, she, but she's, she's like, technically the president. Yeah. She, like, runs the whole organization, but right. she's also a player for the women's season. She's the quarterback. Shout out to Monica <laughs> and Sabrina. <laughs> so uh, Sabrina put us in contact with Monica, the quarterback, president, everything. And we started talking, and she's like, well, would y'all, like, want to play? Would y'all want to yeah. coach? And we were like, oh, we're both injured. We can't play. Like, we was just yeah. trying to move to Spain. But, like, if we can come and, like, maybe coach a little right. bit. like So the thing cool. in Spain, too, is they play in the winter. Yeah. So that's why they asked. So yeah. apart from, like, the rest of Europe, almost, yeah. their season is usually from, like, December to April. April, yeah. And we were trying to move, like, in the fall, like, yeah. early in the fall. And we were like... Yeah, we can't play, but, like, maybe we can, like, come and help coaching a little yeah. bit. But we still weren't, like, too, like, serious about it. Because it's, like, seven-man football and whatever. And then we, like, keep talking more and more. Yeah. And literally within, like, two weeks, they had offered us, like, housing, gym, yeah. blah, 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 blah. They put up a whole offer. Within two weeks, we signed to Spain. After just coming yeah. up with the idea of, oh, we just want to move to Spain. Like, not football, but, like, let's just move to Spain. Within two weeks, we yeah. had signed a player coach contract right. and also us being who we are we also went from being very like no you know we're not gonna be playing mm -hmm. this winter we're gonna take our time rehab here. we started slowly like 
Well, when are you done right. with rehab? Shit. Like, I mean, this I remember, doesn't in April. Right, I remember <laughs> us having a conversation where we both went, wait, I'm going to go talk to my physio. Yeah, we literally, we, <laughs> we were literally how awesome. how soon can I be playing again? We're on the phone, and we're like, wait, I think he was talking about, like, maybe November, so hold on. Like, and I'm going to start literally... running in September. Yeah, and... <laughs> we both went to talk to our physios and trainers, and we were like, hmm, Maybe we have to like skip the first few games, but we can maybe right. still play a little bit. But we were still like, okay, so we'll probably play a little bit, but we're not like really gonna play, play. So, like, that's the contract that we signed that we were like coaches first and we would play a few games. We played every game and mm. like every fucking down. <laughs> we <laughs> went both ways. We went All both ways. ways. <laughs> Literally no breaks, but it was fun. Like, honestly, it was super fun. But so basically, our deal there was the team provided us with housing yes. we decided to drive Ida's car because we wanted to have like our own car and not like share a car with anybody whatsoever so we drove from Sweden to, to Spain yeah. but we we did it as like a longer road trip so we were on the road for like a week so we took um we were a in, boat from yeah. Sweden to Germany yeah and then we stayed in Frankfurt first yeah visited some friends and then we went to France and we actually stopped in three different places yeah place. and then we went so that whole thing like we spent a week i yeah. think driving just using it a little bit as a vacation yeah because i think also because when we left we left like two days after i had coached in the swedish championship mm -hmm. so we were kind of like you know we want like a little break yeah just chill for a little bit before we get there and because we had like friends like in germany and stuff so we stayed in we stayed around like frankfurt and we, we stopped in hamburg and stuttgart, stuttgart but we stayed in Frankfurt and then a little outside. I can't remember the name. <laughs> Anyways, we were there for like yeah. two nights. We also went to the GFL uh, championship game. Yeah, that was fun. So yeah, we did it as like a mini vacation. So we would only drive like five hours per day and then we yeah. would just stop somewhere or stay somewhere or whatever. Like we stopped in Hamburg just for lunch right. type shit. But it was really fun. And the like, places we stopped, except for Leon, but Montpellier and Mulhouse. That was us just driving and be like, yeah. okay, it's time to like find somewhere. Look, yeah. Looked up places. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, like we like, had no plan for real. Other than that, we just had to be in Frankfurt for the GFL championship game. But other than that, we, and we had a certain day we yeah. needed to be in Barcelona. Yeah. So we were like, uh, other we than that, we were that. just kind of like vibing it out yeah. and it actually ended up being like super yeah. fun. But that's also crazy because it's like people always ask like, what do we like get from football type shit? And it's like. But the connections that we had, yeah. like, we didn't pay for anything when we were staying in Frankfurt because right. we were staying with football friends and stuff. Like, the connections, like, yeah. and we could have probably done that Oh, and when we were in Frankfurt, Yona, our friend, yeah. she also flew up yeah, there. To the so we were all, like, game. hanging out. Then we got to Barcelona pretty early in the fall. We got there mid-October. Yeah. And the season wasn't going to start until December. So we were there pretty early, mm -hmm. which was a decision yeah. we made. So we were there just coaching Mm -hmm. And since we were both injuries injured, when we first got there, we really were just coaching. Yeah. So we ended up coaching. I was uh, O line coach and linebacker coach. Yeah. And, and I was DBs and kind of everything. Yeah. Skill on and offense. then we were together defensive coordinators. Yeah. And that was like interesting. I I had coached positions before, but mm -hmm. I had never done like coordinating. Yeah. So that was honestly. A lot of fun. Yeah, I think it was. I feel like it was fun doing it together. Like I have done that, but in like youth leagues and stuff. But it was almost the same because they played seven man in yeah. Spain. But it was fun, like just uh, doing the scouting reports together, and then like I mean, we would do that as coaches anyway, and as players too. But like, uh, just like making the defense, and then I don't yeah. know. It was just it was just a good time, like kind of going there because we kind of went there like no disrespect to like Spanish football, but we went there with a little bit of like. Oh, this is kind of like a, just a fun thing to do because obviously it's not that competitive in the league like spanish athletes are great their national team is obviously great they're the european champions now <laughs> but like the league in spain is not high level so it was kind of more like oh let's just have fun and this yeah. is like an easier slower start getting back from our injuries before we go back to the big leagues so right. it was kind of like a like a pre-season type yeah. of thing for us for real for real but and it, it was, was real fun. Yeah, it was fun. Like, the team, and I think where we lived was called uh, Barbera de Valles. 
Mm-hmm. So it's like a small, I would say village. Like that's just yeah. a small yeah. village. Uh, maybe like 15, 20 minutes. It's in like Barcelona, yeah, but it's, but it's like right outside. outside like the downtown. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, and the people who play in our, like most people lived around there. Yeah. And there's not that many people. There's not much to do. So we were like with the yeah. team. And we had a lot. We had three practices a week plus games. Yeah. And you could literally walk around town where we live. And you would always run into somebody from our team, from yeah. the men's team, the junior the team, junior <laughs> team, because everybody lived there. So it yeah. almost felt like the whole football team just had yeah. their own community. And because like the football field is like in the middle of that right. little village, so it's like everything's around that. Like there's all the restaurants are right around the field. Like everything's right there. Like everybody lives right there. You could just walk to other people's like houses and everything. Like it was so much fun. And then like you said, like we had like three practices a week. And then we didn't really do, like, meetings and stuff, honestly. Like, it wasn't, no. like, like we just kind of went over everything at practice. Like, we would maybe have, like, a quick meeting before practice, like, on this little, like, classroom thing. Um, but we had, like, team dinners every Friday night. Yeah. And then games. And then we would, like, travel. And whenever we had away games, we would stay there, like, the uh, night before and after. So yeah. it became, like, a nice trip. Like, oh, going to Madrid for three right. days. <laughs> going to Valencia for three days. Like, it was also so nice, like... It was so cool, like, when we're going on away game trips, because we're yeah. used to traveling in, like, Finland and Sweden, and it's lame as shit, but driving to, like, Madrid, seeing, mm-hmm. like, it's just, like, the views are great and everything, it's, it like... Was. And then, because we were, we were, like, a small team, obviously, mm-hmm. you play seven man, so you don't have a big amount of players. <laughs> I would say we had maybe, like, 15 players on mm-hmm. the team. All together. Which also be- makes it, like, you get to know yeah. each other, so, so we're all, like... Yeah, everybody's tight. Yeah, so that's the difference compared to, like, here, you have teams of 40. 50, mm-hmm. 60 players you know, you're not going to be tight gonna... with everybody <laughs> yeah. but in Spain it was like we were always hanging out yeah. with everybody it was um, easy to be a family it when was so was such a little but then it was interesting because I think for us when we went to uh, Finland and Sweden and played it wasn't like a culture shock or anything because right. they're the same yeah Spain <laughs> oof, it's a culture shock for real for real like you might not think but it is shock. yeah like just even their like rhythm of the day they wake up and they like go to work and then in the middle of the day they have siesta for two hours every everything shuts down like it took us so long because we yeah. would like go to the gym go eat and then we would maybe need to go to the store or something yeah the stores are closed because we usually always do something like if we do something during the day it's always like we go to the gym around like uh 10 then we go have lunch and then we want to do something but everything's closed right. and we're like how does this work? Like, how are we supposed to do something? And then they go back to work, and then they come home, and they don't eat dinner until, like, 10 p.m. Yeah. Like, it's a whole different rhythm. So just getting used to, like, even that yeah. was, was, it took a while for And us. they just live a very different lifestyle. It's like, so chill. Yeah. Oh, my God. So Nothing chill. happens on time. Like, everything <laughs> is manana, manana. Like, it's it, very, like, slow living, which yeah. is, like, nice. But then when you need something and you need shit to be done, mm-hmm. it can, like... It can take time, right. but thank God for like Monica, our quarterback, who does everything. Like she can, she can actually get shit done. Yeah. So she would like kind of help us. <laughs> but it was definitely like I think it was way worse for you than it, it was. was for me. But but yeah. even just like that was the funniest when we were um, when we had games. So we would usually set the time that yeah. we would meet on the field, and we had to start telling them like half an hour, forty five yeah. minutes earlier than we actually meant yeah because they would pull out and first of all so the first game we said okay let's be let's meet at the field two hours before the game which here we go like three hours yeah. before a game and i like the three hours before mm-hmm. a game but like we said like okay two hours before the game they said two what are we doing for two hours they're like usually we like come like a 45 tapes, minutes like, yeah we got like that. we got pre-warm-ups and we got warm-ups you gotta get taped then we put pads on blah 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 and they were like shocked and then obviously they all come late and then we had to start telling them, like, okay, let's come two and a half hours before. So then they would be there by two yeah. hours before the game. It was, it was It was funny. It was definitely an adjustment for us. But it was also kind of funny because it kind of forced us to, like, also have more fun it in did. football. Because we've always been so, like, competitive. Yeah. But now we kind of had to, like, take it a little easier. And remember, like, okay, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Like, they don't, like, for them, it's more... Uh, of like a good time and a hobby right. and being together as a family than it is like oh being world champions right but now and that's what i also even just it's been two three years and just looking at them now being the european champions mm-hmm. like it's changed too. Yeah. they've grown like it's developed and yeah. i really hope it would be so cool if they could start playing 11 man yeah um because i think 
like you said, Spain has so many great football athletes. Mm -hmm. They could become such a competitive country. Yeah. Like, that the would be the country everybody would want to go play. Yeah, yeah, because living in Spain was amazing it was. and then if you could also play like 11 men like really competitive football because like you said they have the athletes but their federation isn't doing enough to make the actual league right. like to develop football in spain um but so our deal there was we had housing we lived with two other coaches and well we had our own car we had a gym membership oh i miss that gym uh -huh. they had us go into this fancy ass gym they had like a swimming hall downstairs. It had like two different stairs of like the yeah, gym, jacuzzi, spa, jacuzzi. They had a sauna, which was a metal box. That shit was we never went in there. And then out uh, upstairs, they had like a rooftop mm -hmm. pool. You could work out outside. You could play tennis. You could play soccer. Like they had a little turf and everything. Mm -hmm. Like that. Oh, uh, I missed that, that gym. gym. That was shit was amazing. so nice. And then I think the best part of our deal was we had a lunch sponsor. So we had yeah, a few different real. kind, but our favorite. Casa Marcos. <laughs> Shout out. Casa Shout out to Casa Marcos. If you ever go to Barcelona, you search Casa Marcos in Barbera de Valles, bro. That shit was so good. But basically, we could just go have free lunch every day. Yeah. Like, we would just go in and order, and we don't have to pay for anything. And they took care of us. Like, they gave us, like, clothes, bags. Yeah. Like, we were taking care of. Oh, we were spoiled. Of. We were yeah. spoiled, for real. They kept, like, giving us yeah. shit and buying us, like, birthday presents and everything. Yeah. Like, we got all this, like, gear and everything. No, I miss So, that was a though. really good... We were really... Like, we had a great setup. Yeah. And then... So, the season started in December. Mm -hmm. And you played the first game. Yeah. Uh, I did not because I was still coming back from my injury. But then, after that, we had... I think we had, like, a few bye weeks because it was also Christmas and everything. Yeah. Um... <laughs> and then we started like actually having games yeah. almost every weekend and we both played and coached while playing mm -hmm. um yeah we were calling the plays as we're on the field right but, or like, if you were off the field yeah. we would call it like yeah. we so we would divide it because we kind of figured like it's gonna be too messy if mm -hmm. we both try to like yeah call plays. we had like games like every other game exactly. i would call the plays and every other game you right. would call the plays so that's kind of how we did it and then we went through the season undefeated mm -hmm. through the regular season mm -hmm. And then we played a semifinal mm -hmm. against Black Demons, who is Madrid team, and they had won the previous year. Yeah. So that was the like previous the previous years. I don't think they had lost a game in three years yeah. until we beat them twice in the regular. So we beat season. them in the regular season twice. Played oh, home and did. there. Yeah, and we beat them both times. And the funny thing for us because since we hadn't played in Spain before, for us it was just like another team. Right. But our teammates, they were like as personal, no, bro. Like they were they, like, like they love each other as people. Like the like the players get along. Yeah. But the team rivalry between mm. those two is right. Yeah. <laughs> so when we beat them the first time mm. at home, I think. Yeah. It was like we won the championship right there. Yeah, literally, <laughs> Everybody literally was like going crazy. Uh, and then we had to play them again in the we first went to their house. Yeah, and took another dub. And then they came back to our. Fields playoffs. for playoffs and we beat them and that was kind of I think when we knew it should have been us playing them in the championship yeah. game because we were the two yeah. best teams but somehow because of their ranking so the yeah. ranking fucked up because usually you wouldn't have we wouldn't have played them twice in the regular right. season but oh, because we losses. yeah because we played them twice and we beat them twice we ended up being number one seed and they ended up being number four seed so we had to play each other in the playoffs because right. we were expecting them to be number two seed and we would just play each other in the championship right. game. And the reason was because we beat them twice, but we mm -hmm. never played the other teams twice. Yeah. So the yeah. other teams didn't have as many losses. Yeah. But yeah, so when we beat them in the playoff game, we were all kind of like, like, okay. That's a wrap. Because <laughs> we knew that the team we were yeah. going to play in the championship game, they were not as good. No. I think we ended up winning 50 to 19 or yeah. something. Yeah. So, and we kind of like expected that, so. Ooh, but I gotta say, when we played the playoff game, I remember, because that game was actually kind of close. It they was, were all close. They were close. Yeah. And it was funny. So I remember we were on defense and it was like, it was like a minute left to the game. So they were on offense and they were kind of close to the end zone. And I know that you and me had like, I don't think we even mentioned it. And we said, yeah. it don't matter if they score because uh, oh i think no i think we said that to each other yeah that's what i'm saying yeah but we didn't tell anybody no, no, else. We didn't. So, but we told each other um because we were both on yeah. the field and we were like it don't matter if they score right now because um they're not gonna catch up mm -hmm. and it's just like a minute left of the game so we can just take a knee when we yeah. get back on offense yeah we said we might as well let them score so we were like chill but like our rest of our team is didn't realize so they actually did score yeah 
and you and me were like chilling. Yeah. And the other t- our teammates were like freaking they out. They thought we just lost. And we the were like, game. hey, we we're like chill, chill. We're chill, like, chill, calm, chill, down, chill, calm, calm down, calm down, calm down. down. And then we got back in offense and we're like, we're taking a knee. And then they realized. Yeah. But it was just funny when you we were, were like, like, yeah, we were like, we were just like, we're good. Yeah, we're good. I remember, I don't remember who it was that let in that touchdown but i remember that they really Devastating. thought and i was like no pick your chin up pick your chin we're up good. baby we we're won good. this game right. we're good we're good we're going to the championship <laughs> yeah calm down calm down in Uh-oh. five seconds you realize okay just... but i remember that moment like it was so funny so we went and played the championship game and we won mm-hmm. and we became spanish champions <laughs> And then literally three days later, we were on a plane to Washington D.C. Yeah, to play our four. Because during the season. time that we were in Barcelona, we negotiated a new contract <laughs> yes. with uh, D.C. Divas. But that's another story. Yeah. But um, so we went straight from Spain. Yeah. To D.C. Yeah. So we actually played the championship <laughs> game like Sunday morning, I think. Yeah. And they had already D.C. had already played their first game Saturday, Saturday. night, and that's in uh, on Wednesday we was on a plane. Yeah. but that was Spain and I would honestly I would say for people who are looking to go play abroad I would say Spain's a great place to start yeah go play in Spain it's a great place to start and I also feel like it's kind of a great place to almost finish type right. like that's also mm-hmm. like one of the like we've always spoke about like we would after we're done like competing in football we might just do another season in spain just to really enjoy just right. to have fun like it's also one of those like if you're if you're not trying to compete as much anymore or you more so just want to move to spain like it's just one of those like just have fun for a year right like literally just move to spain play in spain have fun for a year and then you can get back to like more competitive and what is also great just because of the fact that they do play in the winter is you mm-hmm. don't really have to miss out on yeah. a season yeah. in a different country. Yeah. Like, you can play your season, it'll end in the fall or whatever, mm-hmm. depending on where you play, and then go play in Spain, and then mm-hmm. come back and play. Yeah. So, basically, you you wouldn't have an off-season. You just yeah. play in season. Yeah. That is rough, though. Like, that's something that we did notice just <laughs> based off of going straight also to D.C. Yeah. That we literally had a season going for seven or eight months yeah like eight months that is pretty rough yeah it's it's hard on your body especially because at first like we were planning on just like kind of playing a little bit sometimes but we ended up and even though it's not as fast and as like hard in spain but it's still like if i hit hard i'm I'm gonna feel it in my Mm. body as well and it's like if i still play good athletes right and also (laughs) even if it's not hard but if i play every rep of a game like obviously i'm gonna be sore afterwards and us both coming back from injuries but i think it was really good that we did that after coming back from our injuries because i think it was like a good start before we went to the states and played our first season in the states like i think we kind of didn't need that but to this day like spain is one of our favorite places to live in like we still think about like moving back to spain just for like off season stuff like obviously we've had some great seasons here in the states But for some reason, you can't compare it. No. And just that time in Spain, like, I'm so grateful we got that opportunity. Yeah. Because we were, I, like, I was having the best time of my life. Yeah. Like, I was We were peace. living our best yeah. life. Like, we really were. It, it was it was so much fun. And Barcelona is beautiful. Like, if you've yeah. never been to Barcelona, just take a trip there. Like, yeah. it's like you're by the beach. Like, we would just drive to the beach. We would just walk by the beach, like, during the day, like, it's beautiful. It's by the beach, but it's also a big city. The parties are yeah. lit. Like, the food is great. It's cheap. It's, it's cheap, bro. Life yeah. was cheap. Life was cheap. Yeah, not here. <laughs> not could've, here. Couldn't be here. No, my groceries there for, were like 40 bucks. For a he, week. Yeah, it's yeah like here it's like 100. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. And, like, we're also so thankful for the people we met there. Like, that yeah. team, like, they're going to be friends forever, you know? Yeah, like, that's... Real. We had a good time. Definitely. We love that. Okay, so that's kind of how it happened. There's not, like, too much more to say mm-hmm. than all of that. But once again, that is proof of how social media mm-hmm. can get you places. Yeah. Because I literally you hit, hit up, up somebody yeah. that you, like, talked to on Instagram a yeah. couple of times. I didn't that, even know her for real, but we just follow each other on Instagram. Right, and, and that's that ended out. up being this amazing experience for yeah. us. So, again, put yourself out there. Yeah. Do your social media thing. <laughs> I'm going to talk about something because this weekend, I don't know why. a free weekend? <laughs> we had a free weekend. And for some reason, people be pissing us off. Karen's. Mm. Like, I just don't know what happened this weekend. So, the first thing, we went to Forever 21. 
Because mm -hmm. we were trying to find some bikinis. We should have a pool party. We had a pool party to go. We couldn't find a bikini. But anyway, so we walk into Forever 21 and it's like signs everywhere. 50% off all items in the store. We said, hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> but so we were in there, blah, blah, blah. And then we're in line and we were not together in line, but yeah. we were standing in line, both of us. And all of a sudden, this woman, she's by the register. She's not even at the register. Her, like, friend or daughter yeah. or whatever is up at the register. She turns around, because the line was kind of long, starts yelling. She's like, they're lying, everybody. They're lying. It's not all 50% off, okay? Y'all need to read the little text underneath that you can't She says, put your glasses on or, or the, contacts or on. Whatever. Yeah, use a, what's it called? Magnifier. Yeah, use the magnifier yeah. when you read those signs. <laughs> And she's, like, yelling because apparently, I guess, that whatever they were trying to buy, it was not included in the 50% yeah. off. Yeah, because it said, like, 50% off entire store, and then it said, like, uh, excluding some collections right. type shit. And she's yelling, and everybody in line is literally just, like, like girl, move on. Like, you're buying a pair of socks and a pair of ties. You're right. Yeah. I'm like, if you can't buy that for a full price, maybe you shouldn't buy it, you right. know? Or whatever. And she's just yelling. And this, but this girl who's at the register, she looked at her. She said, like, "Ma'am, I just work here." Yeah. <laughs> you can hear in her voice. She was like, "Hey, listen, I did not print up the sign. Like, it was not my right. decision. I, I'm only here to do beep. Yeah, hey, that's one ninety nine. Like, get out of my face." That's the thing. When you have work and customer service, like. <sighs> The way people always assume that somebody in the cashier has like any word on anything, Not like you, all. like even if I tr even if I work in the cashier, like I understand you would be frustrated if the sign is like a little unclear, or whatever. I could literally complain to my boss about it and nothing will happen. Like it's literally right. not my fault. <laughs> and I'm like, it was never said that like you were like this this deal fifty percent off. You have the right to that. Yeah. That's the store doing it, like, you right. know, whatever. They could sell it to full price if they want right. to, but they don't. So I'm like, either you get it or you don't. Right. If you don't want to pay full price, don't get it. Go to, like, what you're buying right now, too. You could go to Claire's and get that for right. $2.99. Right. Go get it somewhere else. But also, it was funny because I think she was with her daughter, and you could see that her daughter was also, like, mom. Like, you know when, you, like, you know when your parents start acting like Karen's in, like, a restaurant or something, like, start complaining about something, you're just like... I'm not. It's actually y'all. funny you mentioned that because I was talking to my mom today, yeah. and I, I told her about this, and she said, "Have I ever been to Karen's?" Yeah, I yeah. said no. She's like, "Okay, good." I was like, "I would," because if my mom did no. that, I'd be like, "Yo, sh no." I'm not hey, gonna tell my, my mom, mom to shut up, ever, but no. But if my mom has ever like kind of got like annoyed, like frustrated with yeah. something, and I can like see that she's about to like, yeah, like no, like, I could be like, "Mom." chill chill right like literally chill. chill like we're not doing this right now like, we just walk out so that was like we were like okay whatever yeah and then we <laughs> the next day <laughs> a pool party so we were at one of our friends like apartment complex and yeah. they have a pool and the people that live there they're allowed to bring friends there mm -hmm. and you can grill it's super nice yeah so obviously we were there with some people from our team and a lot of them are handicapped at this point because torn ACLs, injuries, right. whatever, whatever. So we have a teammate who has... Uh, she's literally blown up her whole knee. Yeah. And she's waiting on surgery. So she walks into the pool with the whole brace on, everything, can't barely literally walk. Literally the ankle to upper <laughs> thigh. Like, she can't bend her no. knee whatsoever. And to get in the pool, you have to use the stair, and she can't walk stairs. So Especially they, in a pool. Where right. Really so, like. she, so next to the pool, there's this... Um, lift that you can use like to sink, lift. Some, yeah, yeah. sink somebody so you can sit in it and then we can sink somebody <laughs> that shit sound like a murder we're not, we're not doing that I mean it depends who it is you put them in the lift and they can sink that bitch Listen. they can't swim depends no, who it is because I might just sink your ass right in. I mean it might work like that but, too but you sit them there and then you, you can slowly, put them down yeah, yeah. whatever so she wants to go in the pool. So me and one more teammate were like, you know, we'll help you. We'll yeah. put you in that and we'll help you get in the water. Mm -hmm. So we're there trying to like figure out how it works, everything. This woman comes up to us and she's like, uh, excuse me. When you know when they say, um, excuse, excuse me. me. That's how you know. I'm like, no, no, no. And I know that this woman saw a group of like young girls and thought she could do something with that. Yeah. I said, you chose the wrong group. <laughs> yeah. Do not okay. fuck with us. I'm in the other pool with Kia, and I'm like, yeah. And there's a lot. We're a big group too. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of us. Yeah. And she's like, uh, that one is supposed to be used for people who are in a wheelchair. 
And I looked at her and I said, well, you know, she got, um, her knees are torn up. Yeah. She can't walk the stairs. So we're just trying to help her get in the pool. She said, no, I saw you walking. You look just fine to me. I said, you didn't see her come in with a, like, did, 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 yeah, did. and she was limping she was to limping. even get to the pool where it was just like straight. Cause she can walk straight, but like stairs. Cause she can't bend her knees that much. She was limping even walking straight. <laughs> yeah. And then she goes, I have uh, a hearing aid and you're making fun of disabled people. I said, you've been you've been on the other side of this area. We don't know who you are. We ain't seen right. you. How am I supposed to see? Yo, this woman got a hearing aid. Let me go and make fun yeah. of her by putting my friend in this. Right. <laughs> like, what first of all. What are you talking about? And at that point, we're all just trying to be like, at that point, you know, you kind of realize at some point there's no point. You yeah. Know, you're, you're just stupid. Yeah. So we're telling her again. We're like, now you're just being like stupid yeah this we're trying to help our friend you have she nothing literally to do can't get in the pool you have nothing to do with this she didn't even live in that complex she was there with her friend who lived there you know so we're just like you know what just leave us like just walk away just keep walking mm -hmm. and then we got our, her friend in the pool blah, blah blah and then we went up from the pool and she was leaving and at this point i wasn't in that conversation but then some of our teammates went there to talk to her yeah because also like we have people who were there who were doing this like we have relatives who are actually disabled who right. are in wheelchairs yeah. we would never make fun of that no. like, like also how are we making fun of it when our friend is literally right because you know like people can be disabled yes. for a period of time right it's but also be... honestly even if i'm in a wheelchair and somebody's just playing around with that shit like if i don't need it right now i don't care if you're having right. fun with it as long as you're not in my way when i actually need it right and we were like <laughs> laughing because we were trying to figure it out because right. it was like hard yeah. to get, get get it right <laughs> but i'm just like and at that point i'm like how do you not have more important things going on in your life she was with a kid wasn't she? right where you have to walk across a whole pool area to come talk to us and also if you do have like concerns or whatever yeah. why wouldn't you come up and be like hey like I see y'all trying to use it. Yeah. I just want like you know it's for like you like yeah. you can say it in yeah. a different way. Yeah. Don't come up to us and be like y'all are making shit. fun of disabled people. No, because we she's you're literally making disabled. fun of me. Like, or like our friend here is right. actually disabled right now. Right. <laughs> like how are we making fun of that? She's she's gonna be unconscious or in a wheelchair when she has surgery. Right. Like, she's literally waiting on a surgery. She literally doesn't have anything in her knee. Like, like <laughs> what you mean? I'm just like why do people always gotta do this? I don't understand. Like, I just... What needs to be going on in your life for you to just continuously want right. to get in other people's business, first of all? Shit that got nothing to do with you. Like, what the fuck does it matter to you? Even if she wasn't injured and she was just playing around with that, what's that gonna do with you? For real, for real. <laughs> no. If you're not needing it, if we're not in your way, right. what's your problem? And I felt like... I mean, I understand there are situations <laughs> in life where I can be too... I'm like these people are annoying as fuck like yeah. i want to say something yeah. but then i'm like you know what fuck it i'm not gonna like yeah. whatever it's none, none of my, my business. business yeah because i got more important shit people going on literally just need to mind their business like, i actually don't understand how hard it is for people to just mind their business so i'm like hard. do you literally not have enough so going on in your own life right. like you need to also mind other people's business like i got enough going on for myself i can't right. also be worried about what the fuck you were doing no. i'm just trying to live like, like, let a woman live. <laughs> Literally, okay. I'm just trying to live my own life. Like, I'm not trying to be no. living all of y'all problems, too. Like, So if you hear this and you feel like, hmm, that's something I would have done. Hey, it, or if you're the lady talking about tattoo red flags, <gasps> if you're the lady with the mimosa tatted on her back, a mimosa glass, oh, I'm I talking this big, like right between like here, this big a mimosa glass that's also, the fucking red flag I wanna just talking about our um thing last week where we did red flags tattoos mm -hmm. turns out two of our coaches has two of those red flags two yeah Who's mike, mike got his last name <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we have posted the that if you have mama's boy and apparently one of our coaches has mama's and boy and one tattoo. of them had their last name so tattooed so our coaches Big red flags, okay? They're huge red flags. Great people. But, but red flags. Red flags. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to add mimosa glass, big as fuck on your back. No. That's that's you? That's your personality? That's that's how you wrap yourself? I mean, and she was definitely. That was mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. 
Bro, if you have a Melissa tied in your back and you yeah. was at the pool, yeah, chill, chill. Come see take me. a Xanax. And Come chill. see me. <laughs> You're lucky we were like all in a good place, good mood. Right. Be and but the thing was, if she would have kept going, like that would have been an yeah, argument. Yeah, yeah an argument. If you really piss off. 10 football players right this ain't gonna end well like i'm mm. not one for violence but like if you keep pissing us <laughs> off and it actually becomes a heated argument yeah how do you think this is gonna end right and next what you're gonna be me, using the hate oh, you're what bothered me list. even more was when some of our teammates tried to have a conversation with her after the incident saying oh like, our teammates was handling it really well oh, by the way sure. like, but like you know trying so... to have a conversation and just say hey like you have no idea because some people can have uh, disabilities that don't show yeah physically. they're not visible yeah like her she didn't have the scars yet she was visibly fucking limping but she doesn't have scars right. yet or you she could have surgery. like some kind of autism you might not be able to walk down through right. whatever like yeah. you don't know so they were just trying to explain to her like don't come up to people and mm. assume stuff yeah you don't know right. what could be wrong with her because also here's the she could have had a brain injury or something where she right. can't like you know that you never know so here's the thing and this is like Karen's 2.0, what they do is they start fights, they can't finish. Right. So she started that argument. And then when... They just be stirring the pot. Right. And then when they had the conversation, she couldn't finish it. She ignored it. And she had her mans. Her man had to come and rescue her and have a conversation with us. Bro, he and was so sorry. He was sorry he because was he so knew. Sorry. But I'm like... Don't start shit and then trying to send a man right. to she, talk to So us. her and her friend literally walked out as the man stayed talking mm -hmm. to our teammate, just apologizing for her. Like, bro, what are you doing? Also, I don't understand the whole Karen thing. Like, with, like, you want to stir the pot. Like, you want to go complain. But I've never seen a Karen come complain and left happy. Right. Like, <laughs> right. Because you always get in an argument. Now I'm arguing with you. Now I'm getting disrespectful towards you as well. I might even call you a bitch. Now you're leaving out here. Like, oh no, she's calling me. Like now you bothered your own right. day. You ruined your own day. Like what is wrong with you for right. you to want to do that? I or don't understand. You actually realized yourself that you was in the wrong. And it's, now you. It's either you still think you're right and you just feel disrespected as fuck, right. or you realize that you were wrong. Right. They never leave Happy. satisfied. No. So what's the point? <laughs> But anyways, we had a good time. But it's just um, our little bent. A little bent. Had to yeah. had to bend a little bit. The one weekend that we get free this is why you can't give us free time. <laughs> this is why you can't give us free time. Back to Keep business us we go. At practice yeah. and game. This is why we stay at practice and in meetings. This is why they keep us in check. Alright. Uh, that well, was it. So next week we still have a bye week, so we're not gonna have game updates, but you know You'll still see us on here. Mm -hmm. Do what we do. Do what we do. Getting ready for playoffs. Hey, shout out to everybody who's giving us love on Instagram mm -hmm. because our Instagram yes. has been popping lately. We appreciate yes. all the follows, likes, and shares so much. It helps us so much. So keep doing that. And, and also tell us like it, what type of content right. do you want to see more? Like so we can always. And if you want to do even more, go to Kansas City Glory on Instagram and donate and help us for our playoffs. We'll put the link uh, under yeah. the description as well so, so we can you can help stay us stay somewhere nice. All right. But thank you guys. Bye. We'll see you next week.